Trap music is at the top of the billboards. You should totally just make trap records all day long. Um, no, I don't want to make trap records all day long. Actually, I want to make jazz. I want to make some funk records. I want to make some pop records. I want to make some... You can make whatever you want in 2021, but uh, let's talk about how you do that right. Tip of the day. All right, so you might be used to dropping your records and uh, you've been dropping records for a long time. Maybe it's been years. Maybe you haven't got anywhere with your records. Maybe you've never seen more than $500 from your distributor and you're not really making any royalties. Don't switch up, right? That's what they say. Stay true to yourself and keep making those records. Um... I'm here to kind of give you a little bit of a reality check when it comes to the music business. The first thing I want to say is I love all styles of music. I like trap. I like R&B, hip hop, funk, blues, jazz, pop music. I like singer songwriter stuff. I like orchestral stuff. I'm not going to keep going because the list just keeps going on. But here's my point. You can make whatever style of music you want. It's 2021. And next year, the year after that, when you got AI rappers and you got all these people just kind of making money and making more views than any of the humans are, it's going to be a bit of a slap in the face to find out that you can't really monetize your trap records anymore or you can't turn on auto-tune 100% and make a bunch of money off of dropping a record every week. Although it's a great strategy for a little while, things only last a little while in the music business. So how do you get a good strategy when you want to release different genres of music? You like different genres of music. You want to get into some emo pop punk music and uh, some trap records and, and some R&B and some funk. What happens? How do you do that? How do you actually make that work? Here's my piece of advice. If you're going to drop a project, make sure you curate that project. Meaning you got a single, you got three or four singles in a row that you're going to drop, curate the project. Make sure that it's in a certain vein or style and it's okay to be a little bit faster trap on this one and then this one's a little more melodic trap and this one's a little more R&B trap. Keep that consistency with the projects that you're dropping for a little while so that you can start to show your listeners what to expect from you. Now, once you actually have fans and listeners and you want to broaden your horizons, like any business trying to market, the marketing message has to broaden, okay? Especially if you're not really getting steam off of your uh, your trap endeavors, right? You and your friend, your homie, just popping records out. <laughs> just everywhere right like oh bro we're dropping them i'd make these in 30 minutes my favorite brag ever nobody got a grammy ever or any awards besides a pat on the back for the fastest record ever made okay so keep bragging about it my point here is make your records curate your records get your sound together get people on the train get some fans together and then once you've done your records and you've got your style and your brand and you've done all these artworks that are kind of like all similar and your look even, the way you're dressed, the way you cut your hair, what you're doing, then once you have that locked in, you can start to tweak and switch things up. Maybe then you drop like a record that has some trap influence in it, but it's more alternative rock kind of vibes. Like you got like that Nirvana 90s kind of shit going, but you still got some rap bars in there or you still got some trap 808s, et cetera. But you can start switching it up because your fans then are kind of excited about it because they like you and they've connected with you and they start to understand you a little bit better and what you like and you've set them up like yo i like all styles of music you're making content on instagram you're making you know tiktoks where you're showing like yo i listen to nirvana yo i grew up on this i like Jimi hendrix right then they're like oh that's sick this guy actually is like a human and he doesn't just listen to the baby or little baby or baby's babies i always have to make the baby joke sorry it's just funny to me so now you got this idea that you're gonna start switching things up okay switch it up every you know three to four records right switch up your vibe and your style also here's a really big key is that you can get on someone else's record and do whatever you want sometimes you find an artist that's a singer songwriter and you're a rapper and you could go get on a song with the singer songwriter that featuring you or you can have them feature on your track on the hook so now you're kind of like taking care of that that appetite you're wetting your appetite to to get into some singer songwriter stuff ask that singer songwriter yo how much would you charge or would you want to collab and get on this hook i got these verses i got this track it's pretty cool and i love your voice right now you got a cool track that kind of features all elements listen crossing genres it's been happening forever it's always been existing in music and it's only going to get more and more cross genre everything's going to shift all the time i mean by now you you're dropping sixty thousand songs per day that are uploaded to spotify alone i mean you're looking at a song per second almost right like what are you what are you going to do you're going to just keep doing what you think is hot right now 
What you think is hot makes no sense. That's why A and R's are just, they're guessing all the time. It's a guessing game. You know, that's why we have algorithms. <laughs> it's literally why computers do the math and crunch it better than us. That's why the complex algorithms actually work with Spotify, Music, Apple Music, Deezer, all these places, because they have to use algorithms because there's so much music. There's so much to filter. There's so many genres now. You know that there's a genre called new disco, in you disco. I mean, who knew that, right? Like, I don't know, maybe you did, right? There's Brazilian funk. Like there's literally all sorts of different subcultures and genres of funk music. Pop music, come on, let's not even get started. It engulfs everything. Trap music is pop. R&B music is pop. Everything's pop now. And please don't say urban genre. Makes no sense at all, okay? So let's get back to the basics. Get back to making music that you wanna make. Do what you love making and make sure that it's intentional and it has you in it, your heart, your soul, and what you believe to be great music. And you can make whatever genre you want. But my tip is to just curate those singles, those projects, those four or five song projects. Get features, feature on other people's stuff so you can really start to cross into their market, right? If you get on a singer songwriter stuff, then people might really like you and they might jump over to your music. And if they find out that it's all just hard trap beats, then they're probably going to leave right away. But if you can start jumping into other people's genres and featuring and then their audience and fans come over to your music and you're doing some cross genre stuff and they're like, oh, this is really dope. And then they might listen to some of your hard trap music, but you know, you're reaching a broader audience. So broaden out your horizons. There's no rules. There never has been in music. You don't even need to know music theory. If you got a mouse, you, I mean, now we got iPad Pros, man. You're good. Make, make a track on your iPad Pro. All right. And if you guys like this tip of the day, please just share it with someone that really needs this information. They're looking to get out of the trap game. They're looking to get out of just being known as the R&B guy or the, the rocker, you know, like, yo, that guy's just a rocker. He just does rock music. He's always rock, rock, rock. I, I can't handle that. That's not cool anymore, right? It's time to broaden your horizons. Do what you want to do. Share with a friend. Help them out. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. Let's have this pop in.